I think one of the things we've enjoyed the most at that event is uh, getting to know the Microsoft team and also spending time with potential partners. I think there's a number of technologies that we can leverage in our products and also understanding how our partners are taking products to market. Overall, I would say it's been really valuable to be part of the Microsoft experience and I wanted to thank the team for including us. Um, I think there's a number of things that we really enjoy. Number one, getting to know the Microsoft team more broadly. Uh, also, getting to know some of the other partners that you guys work with and see exactly how they've implemented certain technologies. Uh, we've had our eye on things like Microsoft Sphere, for example, but we haven't really seen it implemented. So getting to see products which have done that and taken a product to market has been very useful. So if you look at the IoT market landscape, I think we've spent about a decade getting the market ready and getting maturity so that customers can begin consuming solutions. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that the industry hadn't really addressed that we believe Microsoft has solved in the best way possible is connecting the edge to the cloud in a secure way. So the IoT hub, which we use in our products, um, solves that problem. I think what we will begin to see is that now that we have the individual sites connected to the cloud, you will begin to see more of the field devices being connected. So getting the silicon connected to the gateway connected to the cloud. And so Microsoft Sphere, for example, solves that problem. Um, I think adoption of the data that all these devices is generating is also beginning to shift. Uh, you see organizations who finally have a data strategy and a person responsible for the data strategy. Um, you also see organizations finally beginning to hire people dedicated to knowing what to do with the data and how to harness the power of the analytics that you can leverage from the data. Um, so if you look at three to five years out, I think we'll be much further along as far as creating a digital twin of the enterprise and actually having skilled people who know how to leverage that technology uh, in their business. So if you think about where we are uh, as far as technology development, uh, we're in the fourth industrial revolution. Um, and I would say we're probably in the early stages of it. Um, Acuity recognized that and we started um, making specific decisions to enable us to innovate in that direction. Uh, about four years or so ago, we set up a, a standalone business unit, which was technology focused. Uh, they really was designed to allow us to incubate and develop certain technologies and also to acquire additional software companies. Uh, we've now uh, successfully been able to merge that business unit back into the core business um, and also leverage those new solutions that we've incorporated into um, offers that we are uh, putting in front of customers at the moment. So if you look at Atrius, uh, the sweet spot customer for us is a large retail portfolio. And then we're also beginning to expand into other verticals, but retail is probably furthest along if you, if you want to talk about IoT maturity and technology maturity uh, in the market. Um, the Atrius solution really targets retailers who want to transform the relationship with their customers uh, using digital technology. And so because um, our solution brings immediate ROI, we're the leader in digital LED lighting, when you go and deploy a lighting retrofit, the retrofit pays for itself. With that, we pull in sensors, we pull in Bluetooth sensors, and that allows us to build a sensory network that blankets the entire retail space. Uh, and that gives us a right to play. It also gives us um, a solution to what I would say is the last mile problem in IoT. How do you connect every device on the floor and the sales floor to the gateway that connects to the cloud. That's not a problem that's been solved. And we can do that more cost effectively than anyone else. Um, and so we take that product to retailers. We um, offer them capabilities such as indoor positioning so that retail customers who are shopping, who are looking for a product can find it very easily. They can get a blue dot on their phone. They effectively get an indoor GPS using our triangulation capabilities. Um, and then from there, the data that we're collecting on how people shop the space for the very first time in history, it gives retailers insights that they never had before. So they can now effectively compete with online retail uh, in a way that wasn't possible before that technology was introduced. So I believe we work with the Microsoft team uh, specifically uh, around the IoT effort uh, at Acuity for about three to four years. We were one of the early adopters of the IoT hub and we work closely with the Microsoft team to make sure we can stand up an architecture that can be secure and they can actually scale and support the number of devices. Uh, our technology is deployed at true scale today. We have over 4 million nodes connected uh, in real time and we have bi-directional communication down to every field device. Uh, and so that's hard to pull off if the technology um, wouldn't be allowed in by an IT team. So using the Microsoft IoT Hub has allowed us to sell our products. Uh, it has really allowed us to accelerate uh, the adoption of the technology into a market which uh, typically uh, is, is risk averse. Well, uh, if you look at Acuity's business, uh, we're deploying fleets of IoT devices into retail environment, into high-risk uh, healthcare environments. 
And so that introduces potential vectors of attack to our customers. And so if we don't address security up front, then they're not going to deploy our technology. Uh, we have a whole team at Acuity who looks at end-to-end -end security. Um, that's a strategic initiative that we've started from the beginning of uh, launching our technology business unit. And so we look at uh, not only data center security, physical security, uh, data security, but also how do we securely connect the edge to the cloud. Um, we believe that Microsoft has really solved that problem very elegantly, and also we believe that's differentiated in, in general in the uh, cloud space. And so that, is, that has allowed us to take our technology to market uh, with customers who typically are very risk averse. Um, we are also very excited to see uh, the work that Microsoft is doing around Microsoft Sphere uh, and the Azure Sphere, uh, because that solves uh, the security of individual field devices all the way down to the firmware of silicon components that are throughout the building. We believe, we believe that Microsoft has exercised real leadership when it comes to the IoT space, and I think there's a number of technologies that lead that way. Uh, one, which I've mentioned before, is the IoT Hub because it solves the secure connection of a device from the edge to the cloud, and that's critical, that's a starting point. Uh, the second one, which I've also mentioned, is the Microsoft Sphere. So how do you actually manage the security of the firmware devices that are in the field, and how do you make updating all that firmware seamless for a customer who has potentially millions of nodes to worry about? Uh, we have that problem today. We have over 4 million nodes uh, across our customers, across thousands of facilities. And then the last piece, um, which we were excited to see and learn about more uh, through our work together with, uh, with your technology advisory group, has been the standardization of data models. Uh, the commercial building space as a whole is a very complex one. And I don't believe we're gonna see the rapid innovation uh, from software, which we used to see in other industries until we standardize the data structures and the data models. Uh, Microsoft has chosen to open source those data models for specific industries, such as retail, that allows us to exchange data with other systems and agree on what is a building, what is a schedule, what is point of sale data, and how do we transact that data without friction. Uh, we believe that's really important towards accelerating the market as a whole and also towards bringing purely software companies into the building domain who don't have to worry about the complexities of the hardware world. Because we were such an early adopter of some Microsoft technologies such as the IoT Hub, um, we received a lot of guidance early on. So we have worked very closely with uh, members of your architectural committee to help us choose the right technologies uh, to improve the architecture of the solution um, and also to work through any items on the roadmap that we may need to actually scale the technology. So um, the Microsoft teams have been very receptive we're in the midst of building a new analytics engine and we want to take advantage of certain capabilities such as GPU acceleration because of the nature of the analytics that we perform. Um, and so we're in the middle of engaging with that team again to seek guidance on how best to construct the products before engineers begin writing code. I, I think we're still in the early days of, of the fourth industrial revolution and we're only now beginning to see companies begin to deploy IoT technologies at scale. I think there's a lot of shiny objects in the IoT world and I think people have been tinkering with technology but you're finally starting to see the scale deployments and adoption. Um, the maturity differs by industry. You could say that retail's very far ahead in certain areas, manufacturing is further in others. Commercial office space is really far along with energy management, but falling behind when it comes to indoor positioning technologies. Uh, overall, I think what's really important is the customer should know what the journey is. So what are the steps of the journey? Um, is there an owner of the data strategy? Who is supposed to implement and drive the solutions? Uh, have they selected the exact value drivers and understand where they're going to create value because there's a lot of neat technology, uh, but at the end of the day, it needs to reduce cost or drive revenue for the customer. And so being able to uh, have an order of the strategy, understand what you're trying to accomplish and keep the scope narrow so you can demonstrate wins and actually be able to integrate the technology into your business process is really important. One of the differentiators of our technology is that uh, we are bringing a solution which is really designed for the needs of the enterprise customer and it's not a component. It is an end-to-end -end solution starting from the hardware to the sensors to the deployment services to the data management in the cloud to the integration with other business systems and the analytics for the business users. Um, and so we have uh, deployed it at true scale. You don't see a lot of scale deployments in IoT today. We have roughly about four million nodes connected and over half a billion square feet of uh, commercial building space, which is using our technology today. So uh, we're leading the way and we're excited to see more adoption of these technologies uh, as security and uh, also a user sophistication matures in the market.